Hi, and welcome to ClickFix. In this video, we're going to talk about connecting to the repository service in ClickSense, which is called QRS. The QRS has an API that connects to the repository database. The best way, if you're building custom applications, is to use the QRS API to get the data out from the repository. In that way, you can integrate the data into your custom-built ClickSense applications. The data from the repository comes in JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation Format. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can query the repository database using Postman. As you can see here, Postman has a Chrome extension. It's a great tool that's used for making API calls or queries, and is generally useful when developing. If you click on this Postman Chrome extension, you can download and install it. I already have it as an extension, so it's showing as launch app instead of download. Once you launch it, you get this interface. This means that it's ready for us to perform a query using the API. The first thing you need to do is get the repository service API link via the port number 4242. It will look similar to this here. You put the link to the repository service via the port number into the request URL part. This one will actually connect, but will need authorization and headers to be able to connect to the repository. For example, if none of the authorization portion is entered and you click send, a cross-site scripting error there for security. So we need to pass it something called an XRF key, which is a unique key that gets sent to the repository and comes back in each response. So if you add the XRF key after the about in the URL with a question mark, this can be any text as long as it's sent and comes back in the response. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that bit of text there. It's just something to experiment with. It can be anything. Now you will need to go to the headers and define the headers. One of them is called xclick xrf key. And that should have the same value as what's in the xrf key in the URL. So it's passing the header for validation. So we put that. And the second parameter is called xclick user. Now this is very important. This xclick user is the user that gets authenticated by the ClickSense server. It's a domain user in this case. For this development server, we have a domain administrator user. So we're going to put user directory equals domain and user ID equals administrator. And that's it. When we click on send, we get a response back from the repository service. You can see that here it sent us the response with about information and also the build version. This is JSON format, so you can actually review the raw data or a preview of the response. This is just a simple demonstration of how you can connect the ClickSense repository service by using the API and a query tool like Postman. For the rest of the commands, you can reference the online development documentation. It will show you the URL links to use to query the repository. After the QRS part, the command about or documents or applications will change. You can use this tool to run the commands and get the correct latest information from the repository database using the API. I hope this helped. If you'd like more information, please search in the Click Support Portal and take advantage of all the resources there. Nailed it.